Hello everybody, this is episode 28, day 30 of our Grand Island adventure. This is my last day in Ireland for a while, so Ewan drops me off at the airport and then comes back to get stuck back into work, tidying up a few things outside, and then he replenishes his water supply. So this is week 5, day 3, Wednesday, and we are at Ireland West Airport Knock at the Departures Terminal. And we are going to wish Phoebe a safe and pleasant journey home. We'll have a less of that. <laughs> uh, she's just dying to get back to work. You can see it in her face. <laughs> Would you like to say anything to our viewers? Well, it's been a great week. Um, I am looking forward to a comfortable bed and a nice hot shower. But other than that, um, really sad to leave, really sad to leave. Um, I've been able to see how much work has been done on the house, how much more there is still to do, which is loads. Um, but it's a beautiful house, beautiful area, nice people, nice scenery. Not that you can see the scenery right now, but just going to miss it. I might miss you in a little bit as well. Oh. I'm going to miss him a lot. <laughs> <laughs> No okay way. everyone, so uh, the next video I post will be me doing some work on the house I guess. Uh, so until next time, thanks for watching. Bye everybody. So I've dropped Phoebe off at the airport and now I'm back at home and I've just had a bit of a tidy up here at the side of the house. There's the front of the house there. Had a tidy up here, I've got the scaffolding over to one side because the scaffolding was originally here. The uh, the generator tent was originally here, but this was forming a wind tunnel which was pushing the uh, generator tent over. The last time I looked at it, the generator tent was down there. The little uh, sign that I had on the top of the tent to keep the contents dry maybe over there somewhere i don't know the winds were quite high last night the winds now it's just a little bit breezy look at that beautiful view can i zoom in yes focus isn't brilliant but what a beautiful view anyway so my generator tent is now here at the side of the building i've got a small scaffold pole on the inside of the door just to keep the front weighted down and uh, the back of the generator tent has got some weight on the inside as well. I've got a, a dunnock just there, look, it's, uh, it's hanging around because it thinks I'm going to reveal some grubs for it, but not today I don't think, unless I've already revealed some from moving all this wood further over there. The wood was all piled here, so I'll give it a good shove over that side, took some of the good stuff out and put on a pile here because I'm thinking of building a, a small trestle for my pull-down saw so I can cut the branches in the back a bit easier. Instead of me crouching on the floor, I want to be stood up while I'm cutting the wood. Uh, and then some other bits of the wood I've taken and put in the shed. There's still a couple of uh, swifts, swallows, swallows in the, uh, in the shed because as I were approaching the shed, they just flew straight out. And they'll be flying around the back somewhere. Look at that beautiful sky. That is absolutely awesome. So now, my last job of the day, as far as the house is concerned, I'm uh, I'm going to the next door neighbours with all these bottles. I've got a 25 litre bottle there for warming the water up for. Uh, for the water heater so I can have a shower or a bath and then I've got all these others that are gonna be used for flushing the cistern and one thing and another I've got a post box today as well while Phoebe was with me and uh, that'll be going put up soon so I'm just gonna close the car door now and head off down to uh, well that was interesting I'm just gonna head off down to the neighbours and uh, get myself sorted out with water and then it's back and 
get myself washed and cleaned up and enjoy maybe a relaxing evening uh, I might I might go for a ride on the bike if I'm feeling up to it but I know I'm not sure at the moment I'm feeling a bit tired but anyway that's what I'm going to do now and uh, I'll catch you later on thanks for watching okay here's a, a bit of good news for me I just parked down at that gate this is my neighbour's property I normally park at the other side of the gate and then I open the boot of my car and then uh, chuck the empty bottles over the gate and then climb over the wall and then bring all the bottles up to here because this is uh, this is a pipe that has the tap on it for me to fill my bottles and then uh, I travel all the way back down here you know, several times with the bottles full of water chuck them through the through the gate climb over the wall put them in the car and then drive back uh, but as I got to that gate the owner of the property was dri just driving down this lane here and I stopped him and I just said to him look I'm getting some water from your property and he said oh that's fine yeah yeah but if you travel up to the side gate you'll find that the, although the padlock's on it's not clicked so you be able to unclick uh, you better take the padlock off open the gate drive in it'll just make it easier and quicker for you to get your water without having to uh, walk up and down here several times so uh, I thanked him for that and uh, and I've done just that and once I've finished filling my water today uh, I'll go outside the gate with the car and then put the gate in the exact position it was when I when I first arrived and put the lock in where it was supposed to be I best make sure not to click it though because he might not have his keys with him plus it would be an inconvenience for him having to unlock the gate the lock again so I'm going to do that and uh, probably call it a day for today so uh, that'll be all for today thank you for watching bye bye thank you for coming along with us that's Ewan and Phoebe Wilby on our island renovation journey if you want to be notified of updates and new videos as they are uploaded please remember to click the subscribe button below and then hit the bell also we love company so feel free to share our youtube channel with your friends the more the merrier and please leave us a comment if you wish we'd love to hear from you see you next time our love to you all